What up, peeps? KG Drifties in the building. I'm here to bring you guys some more Black Ops 4 tips and strategies. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best class setup for the ICR-7. And let me tell you guys, the ICR-7 is probably one of the best and most fun guns that I've used in Black Ops 4. I love the gun. It's extremely accurate, great rate of fire, and it just feels like a laser. It's feel good lasering people when you're going when you're doing long distance guns fights. I just feel like this is probably one of the most fun guns that I've used in a long time. But without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Video. Now, starting off with the optic site, and the optic site that I do use is red dot site. And the reason why I use red dot site, I don't know, it just feels like a perfect site for the ICR, just the way how the ICR is, and just how the gun it looks, and then how everything is just set up. I just feel like the uh, the red dot site is just probably the best, and it just feels it just feels right, and it feels perfect on the ICR. And I don't know, I don't know, just something about it, man. The red dot just has a special place in my heart, and I feel like it's just it's just very fun just to use the red dot site, in my opinion. But you don't necessarily have to use the red dot side you can use any other side i know a lot of people like to use the elo side just because it don't cover up anything but i do recommend using red dot just because it just feels right and it's just fun to use on the icr now starting off with the attachments i do use grip one and also grip two and the reason why i use grip one and grip two is because the gun becomes a laser beam i mean literally you can shred people from long distance no recoil and it just feels good man it's just very fun to use and like i said it's just the recoil no recoil at all you don't have to experience no recoil recoil and it's just a laser man you can destroy people from long distance without having to worry about anything and it just feels good man this is very fun to use so i do recommend using quick draw one and quick draw two and last but not least out the attachments i do use long barrel and the reason why i use long barrel because like i said before the icr is already a long distance gun but when you use long barrel it makes your shots a little bit more accurate and then on top of that i just feel like it caught it puts a little bit more damage on the players in my opinion and i don't know just something about Something about long barrel always felt good for some of the guns in the game. Long barrel don't really work too much for all the other guns in it, in my opinion. But for the ICR, it just makes it, it makes the weapon feel like it has a lot more damage, a lot more, a lot more punch to the weapon. So I do recommend using long barrel. And then starting off with the gear, I do use stem shot. I like using stem shot. It's just a lot easier when you're in gunfights. Usually half of the clip, almost majority, a little bit of half of the clip is already out of the ICR. And usually when you're in a gunfight, you're going to have to reload most of it. I mean, you know, heal up with your character because, like I said, you're not, you know, sometimes you're going to experience not getting hit. But I don't know something about stem shot is just a lot It just feels right to use with the ICR and then starting off and now going on to the perch The perch that I do use is scavenger scavenger Obviously you want to you know stack up on on your streaks and things like that not 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 your streak. You want to stack up, you know on ammo, you're gonna replenish ammo when you're when you're using the ICR. Like I said before, the gun do run out of ammo pretty quickly. You do find yourself reloading a lot, but just scavenger. Scavenger is just very very useful for anything that you do use, in my opinion. But you don't necessarily have to use it. But I like using scavenger because it just feels good. Now starting off with the perk two, I do use lightweight. Why? I like to rush. Rushing is my thing. I love to rush. I don't like sitting back. It's really good if you don't want to sit back, but I just feel like it's just it just feels good when you want to. If you're a rusher and you're an aggressive player, I do recommend using lightweight because you make sure that you can get to the area as fast as possible, and it just becomes very very useful. Now, last but not least, on part three, part three, I do use dead silence. Dead silence, necessity, very important. I feel like it's probably the best thing to use in the game because people cannot hear you when you're coming from behind. And on top of that, people cannot sense you on the acoustic sensor. And it's just, I don't know. Dead silence is always the go-to to use with the ICR, in my opinion. It just feels good. You can't get detected through the acoustic sensor. And on top of that, people cannot spot you from when you're running unless they have a really, really good mic. But I think even with the good mic, it's still kind of hard to hear people with dead silence. So I recommend using dead silence. It's very, very useful. And obviously for the wild card, I use the attachment one, the primary attachment one, and that's for when you're using the the long barrel. Very, very important. You're gonna obviously need that in order to put that on. So that's what you need. And there you guys have it. That is the class setup that I use for the ICR. Try it out. You will have a lot of fun. I guarantee it's real. It will get you a lot of kills. You'll usually slay. It's just it's just a very, very fun weapon to use in this game, in my opinion. Great long distance kill. Very good at long distance. A good gun to use when you want to be aggressive. Just very fun to use all around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe if you have not already. Share this video if you want to. You want to have any, you want to see any more best class setup videos with any other 
done, make sure you comment below. Let me know, and I'll be guaranteed to make another video for you guys. I want to bring a lot more Black Ops 4 content, a lot more other content for you guys. And I know Apex just came out as well. I do have an Apex video up right now, so if you guys want to check that out, check that out. Make sure you guys click on the link in the description below, or on top of that, click on the link on top of the uh, on top of the video as well. Make sure you check that out. I'm having a lot of fun with Apex. Good tips and tricks on how to win your gunfights. Check it out if you have not already. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like I said before, hit the subscribe button, like and like and share if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'm out.